Nights. Hey there, YouTube. This is Cameron. And this is Brian. And we're about to do a critical hit Cameron review. What the heck's wrong with you? It's horrible. It's not critical hit Cameron. It That's sounds so... Doesn't it sound so much better than like critical hit Brad review? No. Sounds stupid is what it sounds like. Okay, if you're going to be... You know what? Maybe we're just not going to do this review then if you're going to be all... Meh. Anyways, we're doing a review for Karateka. Katekara. Kara. Kara. Ti. Ti. Ka. Ka. Karateka. And here we go. So, Cameron, what'd you think of that story? I thought that that story was amazing. I mean, it was. I didn't really have to pay attention since it wasn't there, so it didn't hurt my head at all. You're good at lying. That was like a good one. <laughs> yeah, no, the story was uh, not so great because there was not much of a story. Basically, you play one of three guys. Well, you start off as one guy, and then as you die, they keep giving you a stronger guy. And you're trying to get to the top of the castle to save your love who was kidnapped for a reason you don't know because this creepy guy likes her. And you're just trying to save her, and that's it. There's a sentence in the beginning of the game that tells you this, and then there's not a single word spoken throughout the entire game. Are you, are you reading the back game. of the box of Mario? Is that what you're trying to do here? Pretty much. There's it, a Bowser, and there's a Koopa Trooper. And at stuff least like I would, I would, if they gave me a mushroom to power up and... I would have more fun, but... So, yeah, the story is a lot like any kind of the, you know, Mario, princessy kind of save thing. You love somebody, she's in a castle, go get her. Because you love that chick, man, you love her. So what are we giving for the score on this one? Giving it a three, and that's being a little generous, I'm yeah, feeling now. That's being a little bit nice there, Kira That's Pekka. implying that there was a story to grade. There was a princess, that's all we know. <laughs> Gameplay. Here it is. Here's how it's going down. I'm coming in at you with some gameplay. Bam. First, we're talking about the characters. Go! There's three of them. Uh, there's a fat guy. There's the normal guy who's the good-looking one. And then there's the the monk man. And they all have different abilities. One has higher general the abilities health. abilities is being generous. They yeah, all have different kind of stats, I guess. Yeah, one has high health. One has high health and high strength. And then the original guy, which is the hardest guy to beat the game with, has just... Health. Nothing. Yeah, he, he's got some health. He's got weak attacks, and he dies in two hits. But it's, it's he's there. the true love. The controls are: you have X and Y are your punch and your kick. Uh, you have B is your block, and then I think I think it's also B to pick up like flowers and things like yeah, that. Yeah, pick up like uh, regenerate your health every. Oh, one of the problems we had with this while. game is you could not be offensive with this game, and what that means is you would have to run into a combat situation with a guy, walk up to him, be like, "Let's fight, Mortal Kombat." And then you have to be like, okay, punch me first. You have to counterattack. You cannot initiate the attack because they'll just block, block, block. And that was challenging for the first, you know, couple fights. But as soon as we got that, it was, it was, it was cake. We beat this game in under an hour, wouldn't you say? I would say beating the game is not very hard. I would say beating it with the true love first guy. On the other hand, would be a real pain yeah, in the butt. You're a man if you can do that. I couldn't. Not even close. We had to get to the freaking fat guy at the end, and then, and then we were just yeah, walking. Yeah, then you just you regenerate life like a mofo. So we're giving gameplay on this one a four. It's pretty fun for about an hour, but it definitely does not have a replay value to come back and just keep yeah, playing. Very low replay value, and it just is so repetitive. I, I don't know. That's the same thing, I suppose, but four. Derba derba derba. Derka 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 derk. <laughs> Audio and art style combined to make atmosphere. We're dorks. Anyways, uh, art style for this game is generic. And okay, uh, there's one type of enemy in this game. Okay, two. Two? Yeah, give him a little bit of credit. Come I'll on. I'll give him two with different clothes on and different face. Not really faces. There's like, like seven hairstyles, so that's nice. Yeah, nice nice hairstyles. Uh, backgrounds are pretty good. Uh, proportions are weird. The main character. He's got this huge torso. Yeah, just. And the other main. The other. Out of three main characters, the monks looks alright. But then the big guy has got these tiny little legs and these big old nerve arms. These legs, man. Um, we didn't hate it, but we also didn't really like it either. It was just one of those kind of those mid-ground things. Like, it's there, it's cool, whatever. I personally got really irritated fighting the same guy every single time. Either they're all the same guy or they're all very closely related because they all looked very similar. <laughs> Audio sets the right mood to fight and to play. You know, it's it's good. It gets you ready and pumped a little bit. Not a lot after a couple couple playthroughs. On the first playthrough, I liked it. On the second playthrough, not really enjoying it. It's just not very memorable. It's very generic. 
I thought it was cool how they put the audio in with the gameplay a little bit, where like when someone's about to attack, you'll hear a sound or something. But beyond that, it's nothing that great. We're giving it a five on this one. It's eh. It's erg. It's erg. I think we just aren't having a narrator to do our conclusions, don't you think? Does some guy come in to like, Critical Hit Reviews presents you the conclusion to their video? Yeah, just like that. Let's keep let's keep doing that. For our new conclusion format, we're gonna kinda make it simple for you guys. We're gonna run through the positives and then we're gonna run through the negatives. So starting with the positives, the game is very simple to understand. It's not gonna take a rocket scientist to get the story and the combat. Uh, it is hard to master though, so it will offer a lot of challenge to players that want to put some more time into it if they'd like to. Uh, the combat looks really cool in action. There's also a lot of leaderboards, so if you want to get in there and be the top Karateka master guy, you can do it. But someone's gonna hack your hack their own score and be way better than you. And I feel the most positive part of the game was the fact that Brad bought it and I didn't have to spend a dime on it. Hey, we're going halfsies on this guy. Whatever you right now, I you're not getting any money out of me. Uh, but as for the negatives. I really hated it. Drove me crazy how I thought all enemies looked exactly the light, exactly the same. The game is just so simple. The story is simple. The combat is simple. There's a four button things, and you could take away one of the buttons. You wouldn't even notice. And just how much did we end up paying for that game? We paid eight dollars on a Steam sale, guys. It's not worth the original ten dollars. It's not even worth the eight we paid for it. It's it, not even not worth eight. It wasn't. It's in. The game you get is not worth $8. It's worth like $2. If that, guys. We're giving the verdict on this game a 4. It's currently on Steam and Xbox with PS3 and iPad and Apple support if you're looking for that. So look out for that. This is a remade game. So if you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, you don't. We don't care. Yeah, we understand that it's remade. We want you guys to understand that. We're not just bashing this game like it's this guy's original idea. But, I mean, if you're going to remake it, remake it a little bit better, please. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for us. We'll be back hopefully another week with another video, and we will check you cats later. That's right, and this has been a critical hit. Yeah. <laughs> Review was the line, but whatever. Let's keep, let's buy.